things have gotten a little bit wild. You might even say they've gotten a little insane. Um, there's been a lot of references to the Joker. There's been a lot of claims being tossed around. There's been a lot of uh, abuse being tossed around. But see, the funny thing is that when you're going to make lots of Joker references, and yet you're going to represent the true villains of the film, you might just find yourself getting what you deserve. And I think today we might discover that a lot of us are going to get what we deserve, won't we? I find it a little insulting that even though I'm known for spice, even though spice is one thing, that I have been the target of an unfathomable amount of harassment that won't even be acknowledged by some of the people in this space. And, you know, I thought that today we would take some time and go over some of that. You know, because I've heard a lot of things lately. I've heard a lot of things being circulated around me, uh, around about me. I have heard of uh, many, many claims, some of which we are going to review here in just a minute. But one of the claims that really bothers me is this idea that every streamer is just the same. Oh, you're all mean to each other. You're all, you all insult each other. Why does it matter? All you do is insult each other. That's what streamers do, isn't it? Well, you see, there's a difference between being mean, between being spicy, between, uh, between bantering with one another, and trying to ruin other people's lives and careers. And there's only really one content creator, maybe two, in this space that I can say genuinely engages in that. Vosh is the spiciest boy around, and he doesn't do any of that shit. Vosh is as spicy as spicy can be. Vosh brings out the most spicy insults ever, and guess what? Vosh still has relationships with creators in this entire space. The Surfs has taken on some serious debunks. They've gone deep dives. They got good relationships with everyone in this space. There's only one big name in this space that engages in the type of behavior that we see all the time that has become normalized, and that his fans will tell you all over the internet, everybody's like this. Everybody's just like this. This is how every streamer is. Every single streamer has a fan base that floods in and harasses people at every notice. Every streamer, when you have a conversation with them, you end up getting your site DDoSed. Every streamer acts as a gateway to, uh, or a spotlight to websites like 4chan and Kiwi Farms. But we all know, Every single person in this space knows that that isn't true. Anybody who watches, anybody other than the omni-liberal knows that no space on the internet is like this. No space is that toxic. Almost none. There are a few, of course. But on this side of the internet, not many. Not many. And we all know it. And the thing is, every content creator knows it. Every single content creator in this space, whether they say it openly or not, knows exactly what I'm talking about. And almost every single viewer in this space, unless they're a single stream viewer, knows exactly what I'm talking about. And it's about time that somebody takes the time to show exactly what I'm talking about. Because I'm not exaggerating or making up a single bit of this. This is a recurring issue that damages the lives of the talent in this space and makes this space worse. You want to know, let me tell you a quick story. How many people here know Connor points? Anybody know Connor points here? Give me a little hypers in chat if you know who Connor points is. Yeah? Yeah, give me a little, or yup, yep, yep, works too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, fun fact about him. Guy is a civic nationalist, yeah? I don't really like that ideology. Me and Connor Points have been at each other's throats since we met each other. But you want to know what Connor Points has 
that destiny doesn't? Basic human respect. When Connor and I got in, the, in a intense fight, he made a video on me that was really personal. And I didn't even call him out. Well, I did on stream. I, I reacted to it on stream. And do you want to know what Connor Points did? Connor Points e uh, messaged me and he said, actually, yeah, you're right. I did go beyond, I did go above and beyond the pale there. I went too far and I'm sorry. And I'm going to take the video down. And I noted that and I said, hey, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that we're not going to get in this level of shit flinging. Because it's one thing to get spicy on a panel. It's one thing to insult each other. It's one thing to call each other's political takes out. But when you start going after one another's careers, when you start trying to destroy the other person's life, when you make statements like, I genuinely think these people should be bullied off the internet because it would be good for them. And people like ConnorPoints don't do that. Every single person on the stream later tonight on the Hippy Dippy Rumble has been putting in the hours working. Most of these people shot promos for this event. You want to know who didn't shoot a promo for this event? Destiny. And that's because Destiny has no respect. Destiny has no respect for the other people in this space. Destiny has no respect for the people who give him a platform. Destiny has no respect for the art of streaming. Destiny only gives a shit about himself and his bottom motherfucking line. And we all know it. All of us know it. And when he sits here and says, I'm the only one doing this, and I'm the only one doing that, and I'm, oh, I made this space, we all know he's lying. Because he didn't make any of these people. He didn't make Vosh. He didn't make Bad Bunny. He didn't make me. He didn't make Doe. He didn't make Marcy. He didn't make Dr. Heemed. He didn't make Aristocracy. He didn't make Anatomics. He didn't do any of it. In fact, most of the time, all he does is make our lives worse. I, it's funny, there's this narrative going around that my channel was somehow made by this absolute clown of a man. And I, 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 I would love for people to show me the analytics on that because when I had a debate with Destiny, all that I got was a absolute fuckload of harassment. I got nothing but harassment. My channel didn't grow. You want to know what grew my channel? Chud Logic supporting me early on. Vosh supporting me early on. Having conversations with people like Eris. Having conversations with, with, with people like, like Prime. With people like Dylan. The real fucking champions of this space. The people of this space. None of it. Not a single drop. People like Xander Hall. There's a great example. Fucking Xander Hall, who comes on here to hang out and talk about random stuff all the time. People who make things, not just destroy them or attempt to destroy them. Because let's be real, Destiny's uh, attempt to destroy numerous people has utterly failed. All he's able to do is cause pain. His goal is to cause enough pain that you want to stop. But he doesn't even succeed at destroying people. Because everybody I know that he's gone after keeps going. You want to know who doesn't, though? The people who get love-bombed by him. The people that he tries to control, that he tries to influence their content. They all, they all disappear. It's almost like Destiny is a desperate, cloying remnant of a bygone age. A, 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 uh, a, a total, a total ancient with a, with a, with a foot in the proverbial grave and that his touch actually ruins people because I don't know. It kind of seems like that's what he wants. It kind of seems like what destiny really wants is to have control of his little pond. See, he thinks he's a big fish in the ocean, but he knows deep down inside that he's a big fish in a small pond. And the rest of us are trying to make that pond amazing and grow that pond. And he, he just wants to be the biggest fish because he can't go any higher. He's been surpassed by people like Hassan. He's been surpassed by people like Vosh. And he knows it. He knows it. So, without any, uh, any, uh, you know, further, uh, ado, I want to review something because, you know, I thought this this might be a good opportunity for us to watch something that got pu published just the other day 
by a good, good, good friend of mine, Dylan Burns. Let's watch it. Thanks for the likes, everybody. I can't believe that somebody da, 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 all this stuff like and then like dredging up my like suicide like somebody who just attempted suicide would would post it. It was just a it was just a picture. I, I, I remember that like old Simpsons like thing where they pluck out the picture like it's no, no, it's a SpongeBob thing. And they pull out the picture. It's just a drawing boy. It's just a picture of mm -hmm. you. And the just fucking tidal wave of nonsense that developed into where I had to deal with for like the next three to four days, random like 20 to 30 viewer like people like coming out and be like, Dylan, the Nazi mm -hmm. platformer, Dylan, the this, the that. And they're and all like, all I did, like, all I did all like, was make fun of you. I didn't yeah, even compliment like, you. But I'm saying like, I've had like pretty strong relationships with a lot of these people that just like fucking flip on a dime. Like the I had strong relationships with all these people and they flip on a dime. Everybody. Oh, it's everybody. It's certainly not me. Everyone is a two-faced liar except for me. Whole reason why me and Bad Bunny had our huge split was because I was tired of getting shit from her for not defending her enough and then getting shit from my community who said I was simping for her. That's like the that's the whole origination of our breakup. And everybody in my chat that was old enough remembers that. That like Bad Bunny would say some crazy shit like, oh, I think bisexual black guys are fucking disgusting. And I would be like, okay, well, you know, she's probably not racist. It's just like I understand blah, 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 blah. And my community would roast the fuck out of me for it. And they would call me a simp. And then she would DM me on Twitter and be like, why don't, why do you let your community shit on me? It's like, well, probably because you say some crazy racist homophobic shit. You're fucking crazy. What? That's what League of Legends does to the brain, man. You gotta stop. You're gonna be like that one. True, Dylan! True! That is what League of Legends does to the brain. Woman. Nice. Good one. A great one, actually. How you been? How was the vacation? Um, okay. Anyway. Destiny, what's up? I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, what's going on? Why is it so difficult to have a relationship with you? What do you mean? It's, it just feels like... What an interesting question, Dylan. That is a really interesting question. Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard to have a relationship with Destiny? Interesting question. Let's see what he it, says. Let's see what Destiny's input is of it. It just feels like it's like any any time I have any sort of relationship with you in any way, right? It could just be like... I'm, I just exist, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll get an at. Like, so I see that Dylan was posted in Destiny subreddit. Or I just posted that picture of you as a reply. And the shitstorm that caused with Bad Bunny and the rest of everyone. Or just being in, in any way associated with you. Just doing any stream. Now, by the way, real quick. I just have a quick, I just have a quick note to make. Is anybody here, does anybody here remember when I had my cancellation going on about me? with the RGR situation? Do you remember when I went on Dylan and Dylan grilled the absolute hell out of me? Sorry, no, no, I'm sorry. That wasn't even for the RGR one. That was for the Descrub King. My my one, my two hour conversation with Descrub King, which resulted in a 900 word essay being written about how, how I am dangerous to women and bad for feminism. And then I went on Dylan's show and I got grilled. Does this look like a grill to you? No offense to Dylan. I love Dylan. Me and Dylan have had very, very long conversations, and I respect Dylan a lot. But just look at the difference in the way that this space treats destiny versus the way this space has treated people like me. Just take a look at it. Take it all in. We know there's a double standard. There's whatsoever. It seems like the amount of just, like, Equal matter that is then scooped out of the nearest waste receptacle and then thrown and smeared on the walls is an inordinate amount of shit. Uh, yep. Welcome to my life. Oh yeah, totally. Welcome to your life, dude. The the guy who jokes about burning bridges with his lo years long friends. Welcome to my life. Welcome to my life, dude. <clears throat> Did you ever watch the Joker movie? Oh God. Uh, no, I have not. I don't watch Marvel oh. movies because I'm an alpha. It looks like, it, yeah, you ever watch the, the Joker movie? Let's see. Let's see. Let's there go. There's a scene in that about how public services don't get enough funding. And the reality is that a lot of these people probably need two or three times as much therapy, two or three times as much medication, and 100% less Twitter. And uh, that's, the, that's where all these problems come from. Looks like Destiny didn't watch the end of the movie, huh?
most of these people are actually fucking crazy. And instead of like doing healthy things to improve their life, to improve their mind, to improve their body, they spend all of it screaming and shouting at each other on Twitter because it makes them feel better because it's the only solace they find in life. Remember, this is the guy who is, I'm sorry, I believe he's on, let me get the count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. He had nine Twitter accounts. Nine Twitter accounts. And he was tweeting about me while on vacation with his family. He was tweeting death threats at Doe while on vacation. Very, oh yes, but this is the guy who should pontificate about public services and people needing therapy and people needing help and how they're mentally ill and how they're insane. Oh yes, truly he is the one to speak on all of this. For sure, for sure, everyone. Do you believe it? I don't believe it. You don't even need to take my word for it. Just ask yourself, do you believe it? I'm, I'm curious though. Do, why do you ever think about like oh yeah you want to see the death threats because guess what i got them i got them let me just grab this one for you here real quick let's take a look oh let's see here we go oh how wonderful this is so incredible let's take a look everybody shall we take a look oh hey look at that here we have doe and then we have Gamma, Gammy saying, if they want to be a deer, we should be allowed to hunt them like in real life. And then Doe says, hey, I don't ever do this, but can everyone report this tweet that is literally calling for my death? Which it is, by the way. It is. If you're saying that person wants to be a deer so bad, maybe we should hunt them and kill them. That's a, that is a death threat. It may not be an actionable death threat, but how are you ever supposed to know that through Twitter when there's hundreds of people saying, I want to hunt you? And I happen to know there's a lot more than this. There's a lot more than this that got sent in DMs. And then, of course, you get Destiny here. That feel when you get hate for respecting someone's identity. After this, he nuked his account. I wonder why. Oh, I wonder why. I wonder why he had to nuke his account after making that one, huh? But, oh, yes. But remember... Remember, it's everybody else. It's everybody else. Dialing it back. Wouldn't it make your life a lot easier? Gayfesh says he nuked his account 20 minutes after tweeting that, and then he nuked his account multiple times over the next following days. He tells people, and this is funny, I'm going to call him out on this, because, um, because... He call he says, oh, I, do I regularly delete my tweets. It's a safety measure. I regularly, is deleting your tweets 20 minutes after you retweet death threats of somebody, after you get whip your fans up to sending more death threats? Is that really regular deletion? Or are you trying to hide something? Ask yourselves that, everybody. Think for yourself. Ask yourself, wait a minute. Is this person trying to hide their wrongdoing? Or are they being an honest actor? Because, I don't know, nine Twitter accounts. That's a lot of Twitter accounts to go through. And he's not getting ba banned every time for ban evasion. Because everybody knows which Twitter account is his now. And he's still got it. Wouldn't it mean you would probably, like, you know... I mean, I assume there's a certain amount of people in your community who love, like, you being, like, the, I don't know, the unbiased truth teller, whatever, the, like, the perception is. Do you ever think about dialing it back? <laughs> <laughs> the unbiased truth teller that is what he sells himself as you see i have a background in sales i know a bit about sales something you'll notice about me by the way and all of you can attest to this because every single one of you who has seen my show knows i am a political edutainer i don't sell myself as some kind of philosopher king who knows everything but you're going to see Destiny do it here. You're going to see him do it all the time, despite the fact that in the past, he literally railed against Sargon for doing the exact same thing. But oh yes, truly unbiased truth teller. Well, some people are buying, I guess. I'm not. I mean, there's like a lot of things that have like, I, I assume like relationships have suffered. Like, I think the problem is that I have too much. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously explaining this in the way that makes me look the best. I mean, we can go down. I'm obviously explaining this in the way that makes me look the best. Hmm. Interesting. You know what we would call that? Lying. If you're, t if you're retelling history in a way that makes you look the best, that's called lying. Isn't it, everybody? 
on other roads if you want. I have too much real life experience to deal with these like fake fucking losers. Mm. Um, I put up with too much horrible shit in my life. Fake friends. I've had fake many, friends. Um, different things happen to me. I've been in too many different situations. I would not be able to stand being around so many fake fuck victim babies that like want to act like their entire life is miserable. When fake fuck victim babies, he says five literally. What? 30 seconds after he just said that everyone is out to get him and everyone else who says you're an asshole, you're, you direct harassment and hate to all of us. You make our lives hell. Oh, they're all the fake victims, but they're all the fake victims, but it, it's truly, it's truly destiny who everyone is against. They've got like 20 hours a day to post on fucking Twitter while mom and dad pay for them to live in a house while mom and dad pay for them to get their shitty arts degrees so that they get. Who is this a reference to? Who is this supposed to reference? Can can anybody tell me which of the people has an arts degree that he's been talking about recently? Do uh do I have an arts degree? Do I live with mommy and daddy? Nah, I don't. Does does Vosh? Well, Vosh has a sociology degree and he doesn't live with mommy and daddy. No. Uh Bad Bunny? I don't know actually. I don't know anything about Bad Bunny. Doe doesn't. So who the hell is he talking about? It's almost like he completely invented a person to try and straw man and smear every person that he's talking about. Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird how that's what he always falls back on? He falls back on fake invented straw men. Interestingly, the exact same fake invented straw men that people like, oh, I don't know, Steven Crowder, Sargon of Akkad, uh, Ian Miles Chong, all of these, uh, Mike Chernovich, all these people, all these big figures on the, uh, on the alt-right, they used to love to say that. Very interesting, isn't it? Let's continue pop on Twitter and then complain about how high the student loans are, even though they're never going to make a payment on them. Uh, I fucking hate most of these worthless fucking people, especially when you've got like racist, um, disgusting anti LGBT people like nice. That. I hate all of these. I legitimately hate all of these worthless people. Bad bunny out here, like screaming, like racial slurs at me and like calling for me to be get banned. When you've got like these insane losers like demon mama who are mentally ill and encouraging other people to go down the same mentally ill avenues that they do encouraging people. Oh, totally. Yeah. Uh, totally insane people like demon mama. Oh yeah. Uh, sorry. I, does anybody have the stream where I encourage people to become mentally ill? That sounds like a completely made up, like, like Trumpian tier lie. But let's continue because I promise you, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. People self-diagnose mental illness. Um, when you got like these mentally crazy people, like dear people on Twitter talking about how gender and all of that stuff is arbitrary and meaningless, despite the fact that like so many... Really funny. Once again, another complete misrepresentation. Never once has, has uh, any of these people, but we know who he's referencing. We know who he's trying to kick at, arguing that... Uh, that that these things are arbitrary and made up and meaningless. That's not what anyone said, ever. The argument was that they are arbitrary, thus that they can be changed by our social decisions. See, I know how to read different people's arguments, but do you know who doesn't? Destiny. And you have to ask, why? Trans people kill themselves over these very topics. Like, I have absolutely no desire whatsoever to be more amenable or friendly towards these people. Um, they were irrelevant, and they'll return to their irrelevancy eventually. Um, and I'm No, we're not, dude. I you've said that. You've been saying about that. You've been saying that about me. Your fans have been saying about that. Uh, that about me for eight months. Eight months since I creamed you in front of your little fans. And guess what? I'm still motherfucking here. I'm still here. And so is everybody else that you go after here. We ain't going anywhere. But you know who might be? You know who, you know who I get the feeling that he might be, he might be feeling like his time is running out. Like destiny is irrelevant. Like people don't look for the content that destiny produces anymore. They don't really like a guy sweatily swearing at League of Legends and, uh, and losing his cool on people in his chat. Less and less people are enjoying that. He's purged his community so many times, but we're not going anywhere, are we? I'm just here to ride out the turbulence that still happens. Fuck these people. I would never do anything to appease these worthless subhuman fucks. Nice! Worthless subhuman fucks. Super, su by, by the way, the omni-liberal. Just so you know, that's the, that is the words of the omni-liberal. Of the, probably the most prominent liberal streamer on this entire platform. On this entire side of the internet. But let's get, it's going to get worse. Get ready. It's going to get even worse. But that's just me. Well, 
I do not endorse nor condone anything the you just said. The last SJW. And remember, this is also the guy who says nothing that he does is performative. So I have to ask you, it, is it true that nothing he does is performative? Or is he really this mad? It's funny. He makes fun of me for the are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? You know, are you mad? Are you mad? You know that thing that he did? He makes fun of that. But if he's not performative, he's motherfucking mad. He's got himself in a corner here, doesn't he? Let's continue, though. But uh, I do want to say that don't you think you kind of like you go out of your way to like poke him? I mean, I I, th I think I you block. So every time I get into an issue with these people, on Twitter, I start block, 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 block. I block so many. Wrong. That is not true. Do you want to know when Destiny blocked me? You want to know when Destiny blocked me? It wasn't when he was tweeting about me unprovoked. It wasn't after, and he did, and he certainly didn't block any of the other people he was harassing. He didn't block Doe. He doesn't block. I mean, maybe he's now blocked us. I don't know. But at the time, he didn't. He says this because it's unverifiable. He does the thing again. This is very Trumpian. You say things that you can't verify. Nobody can go into his phone and confirm it. But I can tell you this: I remember when he blocked me. He blocked me. Uh, about, about 12 hours or so after he tweeted, you're fat at me, essentially. He tweeted a thing that said, uh, I would, it would be a shame if you had a heart attack. And then he, he tweeted a link to an art, article, a science journal article about obesity. That's when he blocked me. But previous to this, I've been unblocked. He doesn't block these people. He knows he doesn't block these people because he likes to quote tweet them. And, Interestingly, I can show you a clip. We'll do this in a little in, in in a little bit. We'll go back and show you the clip where he openly admits that he believes that quote tweets do drive harassment. And then he does quote tweets of people that he supposedly believes are mentally ill. And I again have to ask you, line up the logic here. What we have is a liar, a person who lies and who knows that his audience knows what they're supposed to do when he quote tweets somebody. Any of these fucking people but like the problem is like the, the thing is is that <clears throat> when you reach a high level of socialism you turn into an ultra capitalist so they need me because i'm the only person that will actually like associate with any like politically driven content as a larger content creator because i enjoy it because i like these conversations because they're important to me but like mike yeah um totally so uh destiny the guy who only crashes panels when there's somebody that he can chase down like me Remember, he's crashed multiple panels with me on it. Interesting, though. You know, it's interesting that he says, oh, they need me. They're the hyper-capitalists. They need me to su succeed. But let me ask you, what streams does Destiny get the most fucking views on? Drama streams. It sounds like he needs everybody else. He needs all of us. Or else he doesn't have content. His own fans complain about his crappy League of Legends streams. They complain about his bitter... Uh, obnoxious, boring streams where he sits around and plays uh, resource harvesting games. It sounds to me like he is the one who needs us. Because I certainly don't need him. I haven't done a segment on Destiny in fucking forever. Until now. Because I'm fucking tired of it. He isn't talking to any of these people anymore because he's got Hassan to leech off of. Vosh won't talk to any of these people anymore. Hassan- Wrong! I recently had a debate with Vosh. Also, really funny that he brings this up. Because, um, does anybody remember the, uh, the recent big panel that Vosh was on? This is an interesting one. This is a real, real one. Yeah, hold on a second. Let me just, let me just give you a second. Does anybody remember the panel where, uh, every single person on the panel was, was essentially was against Vosh? The one where Vosh was engaging with a, a lot of content creators who don't even have affiliate yet? Then Vosh went on to talk about George Bush and everybody got real mad at him and he engaged for hours late into the night with a lot of small content creators. Vosh has small content creators on his show all the time. And while I admit that Hassan is a little bit distanced, the idea that there is no other one, hell, you wanna know what's really sad? Even Mike from PA engages more effectively and more frequently with smaller creators than Destiny does. Destiny is lying to Dylan's face. And we all know it. Every person, even his audience knows it. That he's lying right here. Isn't that sad? What a sad state of affairs. 
definitely won't talk to any of these people. So I'm like the only avenue to clout that most of these people have. And shitting on me is the easiest way to farm like any type of clout ever. Like you can build careers off of it. Like shitting on Destiny as a lefty on Twitter is the equivalent to like standing up in a fucking movie theater and saying the Pledge of Allegiance is a Republican. Like you get so much credit for it totally. and it's like the safest thing you can do. So if they like never mention me again, like most of the time it's like random fucks on, on Twitter are like, I, I don't know, maybe other people don't notice it. Maybe I come off as unhinged and I should document it better. But most of the time this starts, it's usually really from some fucking loser subtweeting me. So whether- Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. That's super interesting. Usually it's some loser subtweeting me. Does anybody remember the uh, the the uh, J the Big Joel tweet from the other day where Big Joel said, man, people really shouldn't be assholes on the Internet. And then Destiny assumed that was about him and freaked out on Big Joel. Anybody remember that? Yeah, he seeks out a subtweet specifically doesn't tag somebody in. How does he know it's about him or does he just think everything is about him? Huh? Very interesting. You see, we reached out to a lot of content creators. We reached out to ask them, hey, when you engage with Destiny, what started it? And guess what? It's almost always Destiny who starts it. In fact, you want to know what I remember? Does anybody uh, remember the most recent drama I had on Twitter with Destiny? The most recent drama that has started this whole fucking storm where he tweeted unprovoked a clip of me with the uh, JCS criminal science guy uh, talking over me talking, implying that I was an insane criminal. I didn't tweet him. I didn't subtweet him at all. He did that out of nowhere. Destiny, once again, is a liar. And he's lying to Dylan's face. And the silence that Dylan has here really says everything. It's Big Joel who compares women to objects in order to win debates with me. Oh, oh yeah, totally. That's a very honest representation of, of, of Big Joel's position. That's a super, super honest representation of Big Joel's position, isn't it, everybody? Anybody here who knows what Big Joel's position actually is knows for a fact that that isn't true. But he never has to provide sources. See, because his audience is trained to never ask him. He makes sure that the only contact that people have with con with uh, dissenting ideas is with him talking over it. That's why he never posted my debate. Interesting how that works. It's all unverifiable. It's all subtweets, things that you can never prove. And yet, of course, Destiny is willing to, on these, on this incredibly solid evidence, he's willing to argue that people should be bullied and targeted off the internet. Very, very interesting or whether it's that Sean dipshit who's some like top 1% income earner who made all of his money by exploiting the labor of another person that wrote all the material for his videos of him. What Citation needed, buddy. Citation needed. And also, do you really want to say, is he really trying to make the argument that he makes Sean? Sean's YouTube channel is ridiculously successful. Sean has one of the most successful YouTube channels on YouTube. And supposedly Sean is supposed to be dependent on Destiny? Come on. Come on. Whether it's um, the crazy fucking deer thing on Twitter, and I'm not- Nice, dude. I'm not saying that as a derogatory thing. She genuinely, or they, it, wants people to use it pronouns for it. Or whether it's demon mom- Based. Oh, hey, look, here I come up again. Who's like the, the fourth iteration of me, like created by some crazy developer that didn't get paid enough. Okay, after me and Vosh or wherever the fuck- she comes from or whether it's like any of the whether it's fucking bad bunny who i took from so fucking far right and through her so fucking far left i don't know if she even wakes up and remembers her political identity in any given day like I, like I, I don't know like all these hey do you remember wait a second hold on a minute there's a problem here there's a real problem here he's talking about how oh yeah i brought i brought bad bunny to the left oh that's really really interesting you know because uh does anybody remember who challenged Desti on on his um uh, on his right right wing positions is anybody i think it was a guy by the name of irish laddie does anybody know what happened with irish laddie who who's irish laddie what's irish laddie's uh uh name these days what does irish laddie go by online these days vosh oh he goes by vosh oh it's weird damn damn destiny maybe you should learn something from your uh 
from your subsequent models. It's funny too, because again, we can have another little fact check here. I never watched Destiny at all. I've gone back now these days and I've seen tons of his debates. I think I've seen, I think I saw one of his debates previous to joining the space. And that was his debate with JonTron, which I think everyone has seen. Um, I think everyone's seen that one. Um, but I didn't watch Destiny's content before then. I was familiar with him, of course. I was very open to having conversations with him. And sure, you could say that I, uh, I hung out in Vosh's chat and Vosh supported me because I knew Vosh. But you know, that sounds like a social connection, doesn't it? That sounds like an actual social connection. But see, Destiny just seems to trace everything back to himself at the end of the day. Oh, uh, Vosh was a chatter in my community and then he became a streamer? Well, that means Vosh is a clone of me. And Demon Mama hung out in Vosh's chat and then now does her own show that doesn't even really have a lot of similarity with Vosh's show besides the debate stuff, I guess. Um, and that means that, that she's a clone of me. Let's continue. I, I, I would be better off. Not, I almost messaged you and said, I want to do your fucking show or whatever. No, but you I, didn't. Because I like you. No, way. you didn't, I really, buddy. truly don't want any, like, none of this benefits me. I don't, like, one, they want... Fun little fact about this. I happen to know that Destiny didn't join until after I was already confirmed. Interesting. Almost like another unverifiable little lie he could put out there to anybody. Very Trumpian, my friend. But I happen to know the truth. I know. I was one of the first people, if not the first person, to sign up for this. And he didn't join until after he found out I was on board. Hmm. Hmm. Don't debate me or talk to me. So I don't get, like, that type of views from it. Two, they're all smaller. I debated him. Lance debated him. Vosh debated him. Everyone. Oh, and in fact, I happen to even know that Doe, who publicly stated that Doe would have a conversation with Destiny, and Destiny never did it. But he was certainly more than willing to harass Doe. He was certainly willing to harass it, wasn't he? Yeah, Eris. ...than me. So it's not like I'm, like, farming clot from fighting with any of them. Um, three... Every time I associate with any of them, they all take like the safest, most politically correct positions possible. So oh, anything yeah? I argue against has the possibility of getting me- Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought that I was the insane screaming SJW who came on to tell you you were a transphobe, which I didn't do by the way, even though he insists that is what I did. We've all seen the debate. We can watch the debate after this if we want to. But we know what actually happened. I reviewed it on my stream. I reviewed it on my Demon Mama Roasts Demon Mama stream. And we know what he actually said there. We know what I actually said there, and he's since then said that I'm the most insane SJW that makes everybody look bad. So which one is it, Destiny? You're holding two conflicting opinions. You're saying that we always take safe positions that get you in trouble, but you're also saying that we're insane SJWs who say the most craziest things on the internet. Weird. Almost like those two don't link. Weird, a weird little pattern of thought. Canceled, even when they're giving dangerous medical advice um four or five all of them constantly try to get me banned anytime i get into a fight with any of them the whole fucking like down syndrome avenger squad assembles and then they start let's play that one again real quick shall we play that one again banned anytime i get into a fight with any of them the whole fucking like down syndrome avenger squad assembles and then they start sp let's play that one more time shall we even when they're giving dangerous medical advice, um, four or five, all of them constantly try to get me banned. Anytime I get into a fight with any of them, the whole fucking like Down Syndrome Avengers squad assembles and then they start spam Twitter like or, or spam fucking Twitch support at me to try to get me banned. Like, I, I don't want to associate with any of these. I have never once, I have never once even advocated for Destiny to be banned. In fact, you all know, my viewers know, I've advocated for the opposite. You, it's so funny. The victim complex here is... It, it literally flies in the face of verifiable reality. You can go find all of the videos I've done. You can go, I can tell you the video right now. Destiny versus DSA, an old school drama mama from way back in the day when I explicitly stated that I didn't think that Destiny should have gotten deplatformed. But no, 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 no. Oh, we're always spamming Twitch support at him. We're always, oh yeah, he just makes these things up. It's really weird how that works. It's almost like none of this is even true. I don't think he said a single true thing this entire time.
Let's continue. Fucking people. They're literally insane. And I mean that on like three different levels. Their political views are bad. They have actual mental illness and problems. And they're just horrible fucking people. Like, I don't want to have anything to do with any of these fucking people. Like, I I block all of them anytime I start with them. But they can't help but like subtweet me and shit. Like, okay, here's another thing real quick. Let me talk about that. You do do any of you remember when I did the video um <clears throat> titled uh why your mental health is important uh BPD let me hear let me see let me bring up the video right now I'm just going to I'm just going to show you because you know me I love my receipts I love my receipts okay let me just let me just show you exactly what I said most recently about all of this we're going to watch it for just a second because I think it's important that we get, you know, a little bit of truth here. This is my video titled BPD and why your mental health matters. And I'm going to bring it up real quick. We're just going to listen into it real quick. Here we go. You ready? Let's go. Yes, we're just going to watch this for a second. Because I, you. because uh, you, and, and if you're wondering why we're watching one of my videos, it's because I'm tired of being told absolute lies. I'm tired of people all over the internet being told um, absolutely verified lies about me. Um, uh, this is very, this is a small little departure, and I'm going to take these horns off in a second, because this is actually hurting a little bit. Um, however, let me tell you something. Um, with, when it comes yes, to Yes, I BPD, have insomniostatic. A lot of people treat BPD like it's a fucking mental it's death better. sentence. It's not. It's not even close. It's not even fucking close. It's just that nobody, everybody's been, everybody's so afraid of BPD for so much, for so long that that people would not would avoid diagnosis which means they would get worse i promise you do not be afraid of bpd bpd people are some of the most amazing people you will ever meet it is severely severely stigmatized and there is zero reason for that it is completely bullshit okay let me tell you something real quick so bpd is a uh personality disorder as they call them BPD is a personality dis- disorder that is generally um, categorized by severe mood swings, usually relating to relationships, um, splitting, which is when uh, you tend to uh, see yourself if you're an internal splitter or others if you're an external splitter Hello, uh, as I'm wearing either black today, or white, Lonnie. depending on in, in emotionally intense situations. So let me explain a little bit. This is just a little bit of an awareness stream. Um, I'm trying to get better and braver about doing this. So then it's been helpful to people in the past. So I'm going to do it again. Splitting is like when you get stressed or scared. Um, split for about doing this a little bit. Listen this is about just this. a little bit of an awareness stream. Um, I'm trying to get better and braver about doing this. So then it's been helpful to people in the past. I'm trying to get braver and better about doing this. Do you hear me say that? Do you want to know why I said that? And those of you who saw this live know why I said this. Because before this, I talked about the fact that I have been very, very reluctant to talk about BPD because I was afraid that it would be used against me. And guess what? It is. It's being used against me. My fears were not unbased. Wait. You know what I mean. My fears were not unbased. I literally said this right here in my video. And I've said it many times. And yet, back jumping back to the present, here we are. Here we are. Unfounded. Yeah, not unfounded. What do you think about, I, I don't know if you know about, and I don't, and I'm not doing this to like trudge anything up. But the fact is, um, you, you, of course, you still have relationships with people, and I assume you still want to, like, collaborate with people and, like, be friendly with people, right? Like, I, I've, you've always been extremely professional on my shows, you've always, like, I've never Yeah, but that had, doesn't count well, for anything. I think even you would throw me out of the bus, maybe not, I would hope not, but, like, my, his, I, like, I had an incredibly damn. personal, intimate relationship with Bad Bunny. We were fucking hooking up for, like, months. I visited her. Oh, yeah, everybody knows if you have a relationship with somebody, that doesn't mean that you could have done anything wrong. Just notice here. I had a relationship with Bad Bunny. And? So what? What are you talking about? What does that say at all? That doesn't say anything. Two times we had a lot of personal conversations. When she had like a fucking rape issue come up with her mods, I offered to fly out to her and just hang out with her a couple days. Not sexually, but just to hang out. I offered to give her a place to stay because she was freaking out. Like, I've had like really positive relationships with all of these people. I've never like- Oh yeah, also let's remember that Destiny says that if you invite somebody over to your house, you should expect that you're going to fuck them. So, I don't know, maybe Bad Bunny didn't feel comfortable taking an invite from Destiny knowing that was his approach. Bit interesting there, huh? 
even though she's fucking spam adding Twitch support to get me banned. I've never like leaked our personal combos. I've never like fucking leaked the nudes or anything. Does that do anything, like that. by the way? Like, Does just adding what? Twitch support randomly on Twitter? Do I don't anything? know. Who knows? Maybe that's how. That's the only way Twitch support noticing. But I'm saying like I've had like pretty strong relationships with a lot of these people that just like fucking flip on a dime. Like the whole reason why me and Bad Bunny had our huge split was because I was tired of getting shit from her for not defending her enough. Was he bragging about not leaking her nudes? Yeah. Yeah, he did. He just bragged about not leaking her nudes. What a good guy. He didn't leak the nudes of his ex. Oh, <gasps> wow, Destiny. You're so great. I hope everybody sees you for the unbiased truth teller that you are. And then getting shit from my community who said I was simping for her. That's like the, that's the whole origination of our breakup. And everybody in my chat that was old enough remembers that. That like Bad Bunny would say some crazy shit like, oh, I think bisexual black guys are fucking disgusting. And I would be like, okay, well, you know, she's probably not racist. It's just like, I understand blah, 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 blah. And my community would roast the fuck out of me for it. And they would call me a simp. And then she would DM me on Twitter and be like, why don't, why do you let your community shit on me? It's like, well, probably because you say some crazy racist homophobic shit. You're fucking crazy. Like, so yeah, like, so if somebody like her can be so broken away and hate me so fucking much, like, Jesus Christ, I don't know how much closer, like, both physically and, like, emotionally, I can get to somebody and still have them break off like that hard. Ah, if anybody ever disagrees with me, it's because they're wrong. No matter how close I get, it doesn't matter. If they don't like me in the future, if they don't agree with my behavior in the future, it must be because they're betraying me. Couldn't possibly be that you did anything wrong. Like, I don't know what the fuck else I can do, right? Like, Bad Bunny, like, Bad Bunny is an interesting case. And I, and I do think there's something like specially strange about Bad Bunny because I don't know what launched her into such the, the, the recent like parade. I just, I don't know if you saw it. I have no clue. I think you retweeted it or said something, but I, all I did was post a picture of you. That's all I did. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. And she thinks that I'm like some crazy transphobic person. I posted like, a, I posted a picture of you. In a in response to a thing, there was this thing. It was like, post your favorite pet. Yeah, I posted a picture of like, my yeah, it's Stephen Benelli. Like, be nice to him, right? It was mm -hmm. a, it was a it was a it was a jab at you, if anything, right? And to see the thread where she's just oh, like, oh, just wait, everybody, listen. We don't need to come to a conclusion as to whether we think Destiny is a transphobe or not yet, because I'm telling you right now, this video gets worse. Just keep waiting. Just keep watching. Stick in your seats, everybody. I can't believe that somebody da -da 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 -da, all this stuff like and then like dredging up my like suicide like somebody who just attempted suicide would would post it. It was just a it was just a picture. I, I I remember that like old Simpsons like thing where they pluck out the picture like it's no no it's a SpongeBob thing and they pull out the picture it's just a drawing boy it's just a picture mm -hmm. of you and the just fucking tidal wave of nonsense that developed into where I had to deal with for like the next three to four days, random like 20 to 30 viewer like people like coming out and be like, Dylan, the Nazi mm -hmm. platformer, Dylan, the this, the that. They're all like, all, I, like, did, all I did all like, was make fun of you. I didn't yeah, even compliment like, you. They're all trans, non-binary, like ASD, hmm. like fucking like, 52 different like, 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 I don't, I don't care about that. I don't, well, them without, yeah, you might not care about that, but if you try to say anything back to any of them, you're instantly transphobic, you're instantly weird. It feels like he, uh, what, what does that have to do with anything? What does them being, what does them being autistic or being trans or being non-binary? What does that have to do with anything, buddy? Don't worry. It gets worse. Ableist, you're instantly harassing smaller creators. Okay, so you're instantly I, bullying somebody, like, holy I will, shit. I will, like, I will so say, annoying. I don't know. I, I've, I don't follow your shit, right? I don't follow your shit. Like, I don't know if you've ever, like, like, Posted because I see people do this all the time. They'll just like screenshot the like the pronouns under that and be like Lamal pronouns in bio. Or well, I don't know how you're responding to them, but I saw only one instance. Let's of just uh, should I bring it up again? Should I bring it right back up again? I feel like I should bring it up again. You know, maybe I should bring it back up again. Maybe I'll just bring up this little this little uh image again. Huh? Let's do it. Let's bring it up again, shall I? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, you don't do anything. Yeah, it's not like you go and literally retweet death threats against somebody. It's not like you just call people fat randomly and say they're going to die of a heart attack. Interesting. Strange how this all works out. This where somebody got angry. It was like... Destiny called like a trans person a cockroach or something along those lines. And then yeah, I looked sure, at it. Them, and, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. They called you a cockroach, and then you said they looked like a cockroach. That yeah. was the thing. But so that's that, because they're trans. 
And ever since the fucking new patch dropped, and now the trans buff has been including all non-binary people, literally everybody gets to fucking class as fucking trans now, and now everybody on Twitter can call me transphobic when I say anything fucking bad about them ever. And it's like fucking insane to me. Like, I've been like defending trans people on this platform for like six fucking years, where anybody ever did politics on this fucking platform, and now I'm like the most transphobic plat- I'm the most transphobic person, like, on, on the fuck in the entire website? Like, it's unbelievable to me, like- Hmm. Can we listen to that back again? Let's do it again. Let's listen back, shall we? Fuck them, they wait, 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 let me finish. Loser. Let me finish. They called you a cockroach, and then you said they looked like a cockroach. That yeah. was the thing. But so like, that, because they're trans. And ever since the fucking new patch dropped, and now the trans buff has been including all non-binary people, literally everybody gets to fucking class as fucking trans now, and now everybody on Twitter can call me transphobic when I say anything fucking bad about them ever. And it's like fucking- Now, my lovely imps, I want you to put a little mental note on this particular spot, okay? Now that the trans buff dropped and everybody who says they're non-binary is considered trans. Put a little pin in that for a second. Put a pin in that for one second. Remember this. Insane to me. Like, I've been, like, defending trans people on this platform for, like, six fucking years. Where anybody ever did politics on this fucking platform. And now I'm, like, the most transphobic plat- I'm the most transphobic person, like, on, on the fuck in the entire website. Like, it's unbelievable to me. Like, I, dude. These people are insane. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Like, holy shit. Well, I will say, and I, I do want to push back here, is that you have, like, sometimes, like, terrible messaging. And what I mean is- Oh, Dylan. Terrible messaging on your show. Dylan, I got to call you out here. I love you, buddy. Please remember that. I really do. I really care about you, Dylan. And you know this. But he just said on your show, he just went out there and called everybody who disagrees with him. And I quote, I mean, I already played it, right? We know- he called them the, and I quote, this is a quote, Down Syndrome Avengers. But that's just bad messaging. Oh, it's just bad messaging, isn't it? That's just bad messaging. It's just, he's just, he's just joking. It just looks bad, buddy. Specifically about that was like, I remember a while ago, and I just looked at the tweet. I didn't even dig into it because I didn't even want to like get into that nonsense. It had to do with like, um... Whether somebody disclosing whether they are they have a penis is like rape if they engage in oral sex, and mm -hmm. considering the fact that like you know I've like had to help like like Riley Grace Roshong like publish like articles in like Mar Maryland Matters about the trans panic defense, and mm -hmm. that's an extremely sore spot for the like trans community. Like messaging in that way like obviously is going to cause a lot of fucking heat. Like if I came out and I said something like um like um like like I said so I don't know like let's say I found something about like Doc Howe. Or like something about some historical event that was a little bit off. And I'm like, hmm, these historians get it wrong about the Holocaust. And I'm like, uh, they actually were wrong about the location of this vehicle in comparison to this vehicle. That's not bad messaging. That's not just bad messaging. That's bad everything. It's a bad argument. It's bad messaging. It's a bad look. It's cruel. That's not just bad messaging, Dylan. I'm sorry. Like, just like... The first line I mean, but you're being is, like pretty sure you're being I, I, pretty I, I, vague there, but I'll defend every part of my tweet. Not only will I defend it, but any real life trans person that touches grass will also defend it. Because if you're a real life trans person, the last thing you want to do is probably hook up with somebody that will fucking kill you if they don't know that you're trans. Like that's the lived experience of trans people. Now, I don't what do you know about the lived experience of trans people, Destiny? What do you know about the lived experience of trans people? Do you want to know why the trans panic defense is such a big deal? It's not just, it's not because of just personal relationships. It's also because of sex work. It's also because of, uh, 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 because sometimes people don't listen to you and they still freak out. Sometimes you want to know something that's also funny in the trans panic defense. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story of a thing that's been well known. Has anybody heard of, uh, of trans regret? Not when you transition and you regret it, because that's very, very rare. But when people fuck a trans person and then they, they can't handle the idea that they'll be gay, and so they kill that trans person, because that's a thing that happens, and people get off using the trans panic defense, because they claim that they were raped, quote unquote. And that is the argument that Destiny defended, and he's saying right here, oh, I'll defend using the lived experiences of trans people. I don't know what it's like online where everybody's in fucking poly communes with fucking furries and, and, and the only types of sexual interactions they get are when they touch themselves or like talking to people on their fucking discords. Called but in Destiny. real life. So what's wrong with that? What's wrong with polycules? What's wrong with furry people? It almost sounds like Destiny's just trying to lean 
on every single word that he can come up with to call people degenerates without saying the word degenerates. Doesn't that kind of sound like what he's doing? Doesn't it kind of sound like he's going on an unhinged rant about how much he hates degenerates? It really sounds like that, doesn't it? He just avoided saying the word degenerate. Hmm. What? Oh, yeah, he did call us subhuman. Why not? Just say degenerate. Destiny, embrace it. Called yiffing. Sure. I think in real life, I don't... True. Thank you. I forgot to switch the camera. There we go. Here we go. Let's continue. I don't think it's very controversial to say it's pretty non-consensual to fuck somebody or to have a sexual interaction with somebody while you're kind of sort of misleading them about your genitals. I don't think that's very controversial. I don't think anybody in the real world, trans or, or cis, thinks that's a controversial opinion. It's literally only like people online that are like, oh, so you think you should murder people that are having sex? No, I never fucking said that. I've never said that in my life. Like, is there any, is there actually, it's funny because see, Destiny also during that little drama, we all, some of us remember, you can't find it because he deleted it, but we all remember when he said that he believes you have a right to defend yourself against rape using violent force. So no, he didn't say you should do that, but he said it's justified. Huh. What? Oh. Another dishonesty? Interesting. And then he deletes it so you can't find it in the future? How very, very interesting. Anything that you've ever said around trans issues that upon reflection, you're like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have, like, maybe I should have opened that differently, or maybe I should have, like, maybe I was wrong there. Is there anything upon think, reflection? You know what? You know what I think? I think I have better takes on trans issues than the majority of the trans community that I see on this Whoa. shit platform. 100%. And I'll defend that I opinion. Can't pull you yeah. out. I'll defend I'm that like opinion to my fucking rope. death because most of the trans opinions that are given on this platform, especially by some of the people that are super big in those communities, are dog shit. Absolutely dog, absolutely dog shit. And, and yeah, I'll defend it to death. And if any trans person wants to argue with me about any of my takes or opinions related to trans people or anything that's come up, I'll defend it to the death. Because every time I brought a trans person on here, by the end of the conversation, they've 100% agreed with me and they've walked back every criticism that they've had. That has happened every- Oh, really? Remember the time I went on there? Did I walk back anything that I said? I didn't walk back a single thing. Every single time. So, like, I, if anybody wants to argue about it, or if you think I have a bad take about something, then go for it. Damn, man. I thought I had a problem with hanging myself. Okay. Um. Damn. Fuck. That is a that is an opinion. Does Destiny look like a calm, rational, unbiased individual here? Coconut says the the silent trans majority. Yeah, the silent majority. Damn, he's pulling all of those. He's pulling out all the Trumpian ones, isn't it? I'm like, people have watched me on panels. I love every person on, I love every human being to death. I love all people. It's okay. Jesse Lee Peterson, what happened to I love all people. People have watched me on panels where somebody will ask a question and I feel uncomfortable stepping in to answer because there's another trans person on the panel and then they start answering it. Oh, wait, you mean like the time when he crashed a panel that I was on talking about trans stuff so that he could then derail it? Uh, talk about how I have an incoherent definition of gender when I don't, and then also pr proceed to literally not be able to tell the difference between gender and sex. We all remember that panel, don't we, everybody? That was the 10-hour panel. We remember it. Oh, boy, do we remember it. Does it seem like he, uh, did it seem like Destiny was, uh, was, do you think that Destiny was manifesting girl boss energy when he plowed into that platform and crashed it? interrupting a bunch of trans people including myself and mix vivian um in order to um in order to put in his uh his his takes also destiny i thought you were non-binary what do you mean and the answer is so bad and not even really correct like the difference between like gender expression versus gender identity and they'll like give this completely and i and i don't feel comfortable stepping in and explaining it instead but it's like holy shit and i see this happen so many fucking times or like i like i don't know like it, it is what it is I, I don't give a fuck i just don't want to associate with any of these insane fucking people let them go run around in their own little fucking polycules and their own little communes and their own little unicorn farms or whatever the fuck they want to do and just let me do like the politicking over on the side and play some league of legends that's why i played league for the past six months okay i don't want to play league and get left the fuck alone by these insane fucking people that they're are like it. so desperate to fucking cancel then why are you on the panel You've never showed up for a hippy dippy. You don't fucking show up for this stuff. You've been on there like two times max. You don't you don't care about this space. Just go do your own thing. Bo. Oh, oh, oh. Turns out he does care. 
Turns out he's so desperate to care. He so wants control over this space that he's willing to do this. Me or get me banned or attack me or whatever the fuck they want to do. Holy shit. You do not think that much of this might be attached to the fact that you Does know this look like a guy who doesn't care right here? Does this look of absolute despair look like a guy who doesn't care? Nothing that I do is performative. Oh, nothing that he does is performative. Oh, the demon mama might pin you this Friday, and you're just going after a character to poison Thank you, the Dylan. Aw, oh, thank you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Um, oh, is she going to be on that thing or whatever? Yeah, the Friday show. Oh, God, I hope you bring up her self-diagnosing takes. It's probably some of the most... If anybody should be banned from any platform, it should be her for that garbage tier. Fu but I'm glad that she, like, exposed how she shops around for fucking mental illness tags like Pokemon badges or whatever. Jesus Christ. Um, that Didn't we just watch my video? Didn't we just watch my video where I very, very vulnerably talked very explicitly about how when you... If you are able to... Get a diagnosis for BPD. It can seriously help your life. Interesting. But yeah, I shop around for mental illnesses like their Pokemon cards. In fact, it, it's, it's very funny. Um, it's really funny. I wonder what he thinks. I wonder what his representation of my take is going to be. I know, because I've seen this. Do you all know? Let's find out together. What a horrible fucking video. Thank you for reminding me that. We have to review that. Can you um, tell now. me what video? She talked about how it was more important to be able to self-diagnose because you don't want doctors gatekeeping uh, fucking illnesses from you or whatever. That's not what you need I to said. be able to self-diagnose better because doctors don't get it right or like some. That isn't even close to what I said. That isn't even close. I would love, I would love a citation for that, Destiny. But you know, yeah, women do be shopping. I guess it's interesting that that's not even close to what I said. And we're gonna talk about the actual take after this. Nobody watched the video. Nobody actually watched the video. Of course, they don't. They watch Destiny's coverage of the video, which is part of what he wants. He wants you to watch his coverage so he can color it however he wants, so he can lie to your face. Yeah, le yeah. here's a much more accurate summary. Melodic One says, Demon Mama says, You know, self-diagnosis gets a bad rap, but it's an important step to formal diagnosis. Destiny, wow, you should be removed from public life. You're literally insane. Yeah! Wild how that works. Wild. Dumb shit. Like, it's, it was an insanely irresponsible take, especially today on the internet, um, where, where people are unironically doing that shit. Um, oh, totally. Somebody, we'll, we'll, somebody link me this and we'll watch this later. Apparently she responded to my response. I haven't even watched that yet, but... Then you're going to respond to her response of your response? Uh, I, I guess, if I watch it after, yeah. Genius. So, I wanted to get around to the idea that, obviously, like, whether or not, like, you block or do the whole thing, your name is, like... Without self-diagnosing to some degree, says Chris, no one would even go to a psychiatrist to be looked at. Yes, that was the core of my point. The core of my point is that people becoming aware of mental illnesses, learning about them, and recognizing the symptoms in themselves can help them make a better decision as to how to proceed with their life happily. That's what I said. But no, see, Destiny can't engage with the truth. He has to engage with a lie because he knows that he is wrong. And let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment and let's compare for a little bit of hypocrisy. If Destiny is saying I'm irresponsible for saying that self-diagnosis is important, which by the way, I have tons of information on this in addition to the personal, uh, the personal um, opinions of legitimate Licensed professionals. Why does he call so many people mentally ill online? If he thinks self-diagnosis is so bad, what about him? What about him going around calling people the Down Syndrome Avengers? That's a quote, by the way. What about uh, what about him uh, saying, take your meds? What, what about him saying, these people need way more? That is just a bald-faced, astronomical hypocrisy. And it, the fact that his audience isn't even reacting to what's on the screen, the fact that his audience is right here, not even reacting, they don't even care. 
They don't care that that is an astronomical hypocrisy, that Destiny has spent the last 17 minutes of this video screaming about how everybody on the internet is mentally ill and they need help and they and making the decision that they that he thinks they should be off the internet, but he's against self-diagnosis? Weird how that works. Weird how that works. Controversial name to say the least. Like, I didn't even, I don't know. Like, I guess I, I don't view you in the same way, like, I guess other people view you. I know that you're controversial, but when I posted that picture, I didn't uh -huh. think of, like, the nuances of, like, how posting this picture will affect the person above or how this picture will be affected by, like, the emotional trauma of people have by, like, seeing a picture of you. I feel like I could hey, have posted. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Destiny, to be fair, she's admitting she's insane. Nice. Oh, sick. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's bring that up, shall we? Shall we bring that up? Yeah, we shall. We shall bring it up. Look at that. I don't get my gender or social construct takes from you, dipshit. They're healthier than whatever dog shit takes you spew because you're desperately t seeking the att attention you couldn't get in adolescence on Twitter. More attention seeking instead of argument making. I'm disappointed in you. Aren't you supposed to be rational? I'm still waiting to hear someone criticize my argument instead of whatever stupid shadow you're fighting in your own head. Up your meds, schedule more therapy, improve your diet, and get off tw Twitter. A happier world awaits you than this, I promise. Huh. That seems to fly directly in the face of everything that he said just now. Almost as if Destiny is a screaming, heinous liar who, ca who literally cannot speak the truth. Strange. a picture of Donald Trump or like Bettino Mussolini and would have gotten a less vitriolic reaction than me uh -huh. posting that picture of you. And I guess like having to think of the nuances as somebody who like generally like I guess I don't want to say like I'm like like I'm your I guess associate like I'm an associate of Destiny but now like I, <laughs> sure. I, I, I don't know whatever the fuck you want to call it right. Um, how how would what would be the advice you would generally give to anybody who just knowing that just being in your general purview means you're gonna be like getting the trickles of the like the feces getting like like smeared on the wall uh i the same advice that i give to literally every single person i don't think you should associate with me at all i don't think it's worth it online right now Not i think that it. all the people that are dedicated to that all the denims in the background all the bad bunnies in the background all of the other little motherfuckers and i know a lot of them too that are in the background constantly shit talking me to other people constantly pressuring other people not to assist me i wouldn't deal with it if i was a smaller content creator i probably wouldn't associate with me i don't think it's fucking worth it to have that many fucking losers breathing down your fucking neck crawling around like fucking worms like trying to get you like in trouble or canceled or like thrown out of friend groups for associating with me i i wouldn't oh yeah a lot of people don't know the history with uh that destiny has with denims i highly recommend you know you know who has talked about it denims denims has talked about it destiny had a drama with denims a couple years ago denims stopped streaming because of the horrible experience she had with destiny hmm interesting i i it would sure would be a shame if anybody looked into that waste my fucking time with it that's that's what i would do personally i don't think that having being my friend in a public sphere at least politically is ever fucking worth it but I, i've given that like advice to every single person that i've talked to i think no it was not so about no your... it wasn't about the n-word andy not at all nope it was about personal shit that happened at destiny's place and destiny lied about her over and over again that was two years ago Des denims is back making content now she's published stuff about this you can ask denims about this Advice to me. So if you're in my position, you would just cut ties? Uh, yeah, or I would say, like, oh, like, Destiny is a abhorrent person. I don't agree with any of his views, um, but I bring him on my show sometimes, like I do Rob Noor, because I think it's important to represent the other side of the political aisle. I want to know how fascists think, so that's why we bring Destiny on. Well, you know what, Destiny? If I was to follow the advice of a transphobic, racist scumbag like yourself and cut ties, then I would be collapsing and caving into fascism. Therefore, I can't cut ties with you. I'm sorry. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, buddy. Wonderful. Okay. Um, got yeah, you have any uh thoughts about this Friday's lineup and Trihex and Hunter and everybody's with me there? Any thoughts? <clears throat> I haven't even gotten to it yet, but um, I like looking over. There's a ton. Of, I just I literally just got back in today from vacation, so I'm just like looking over shit. Uh, Destiny didn't cut a promo. Low effort, Andy. Looks like I was right. Looks like I was right that he he's not even gonna put in the effort to make a promo for Dylan's show. He's too good for that. See. Destiny is too good 
to uh to make a show like the rest of us. Um, that gotcha. happened. Checking you, out the discourse. Yeah. What do you think about you and Trihex being in the same thing? We're fine. People think that we. I know. I know you're fine. fine. I'm not asking you. You're gonna you're gonna cooperate with the man. You're gonna. Would you like to face down your your good friend, your good palerino? Well, it'll probably be like just like interacting with any other person. I think. <laughs> okay. Okay, buddy. Yeah. You have you have a good one. Okay. Okay. I love you. Be careful. Okay. You too. Bye. And don't have any more bad Twitter takes, at least for this week. Okay. What Twitter takes have I had that are bad? Name one. Name one bad Twitter take. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna name one. We're gonna go there. We're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna name it. You ready? You fucking ready? There's one. I've just showed this one a couple times. That's a pretty bad one. Is that one gonna come up? Nah. Is it the trans panic one that's gonna come up? Nah. Is it the time that he repeatedly tells people to go take their meds even though he's supposedly against self-diagnosis but he's totally fine with diagnosing people over the internet and, and bullying them over it? Yeah. Okay, let me go to Twitter right now. Let's see if I can find anything. Do it. Go for it. Let's do I it. welcome it. I'll Let's defend every it. single one of them to the death. Okay. Wait, you delete them all. Fuck. Um, every now and then true, I do. True, Dylan. Oh, yeah. Here's where he says every now and then I do. Do we remember? 20 minutes after he tweeted the death threats at Doe, he deleted, he cleared his account. And then he did it again, multiple times. Oh, every time and again, though. He's lying. And he's lying to his audience because he knows his audience will never check and they do not care. His audience doesn't care about the truth. And if they do, they won't be his audience for very long. Okay, just to keep my account safe. Your friend deletes them. And um, then the fucking the service is like, oh, in before he deletes it and hides it. <laughs> okay, dude. Which you did. We have them archived because of that. I archived them in the moment because of that. I got archives of all of these. Damn, I can't say I don't like that one. I liked it. Um. You know what? I found True. it. Uh oh. Oh god, it's the football one, isn't it? No, you're right about that. Um not true. Football is is a boring sport. Okay. True. And it's called soccer. Number two. True. Amen. Now, oh, meltdown. Oh yes. I'm the one having the meltdown for sure. Uh, is everybody is everybody uh hey, hey DGG, are you enjoying the meltdown? I love it. I would love it if you fact check anything in here. If you would all even give a shit about what you claim to say, which you don't. I mean, let's be real. You don't. You're willing to eat up every single lie that Steve shoves down your throat. He'll sit there and lie to your face over and over and over again. He'll tell you that I'm bad for self-diagnosis, but then he'll diagnose people over Twitter and and his uh and and what he'll uh and and, and then what he prescribes is harassment and bullying. To accounts that are almost always smaller than him. Strange little, strange little bit. Strange little patterns. This Among Us shit isn't funny anymore, okay? Okay? It's been going on for That's a little too long. You gotta it's stop. An you gotta it's stop. An it's an not an anti meme. You can't it's, anti meme something from like Look. Wait, link me the tweet. Link me the tweet. You gonna tweet? I can't because he deleted them because he's trying to hide them. The uh, surf is right. They got like a thousand likes. The surf was right. Every time. It's good engagement. A thousand likes. Okay, well, you know what? Trump said when the looting starts, the shooting starts. I got a lot of likes too. I mean, that doesn't mean it's a good thing to say. Well, hey, listen. Trump was also president, so. Oh, you know what? Maybe one day. like he's. Maybe one day. Thank okay. You. you have a good one, okay? Okay, be careful, bud. I love you. See you Friday. There we go. And there you have it, everybody. Why are you even saying the surfs was right when you know why he deletes his tweets, Pepe? We know why he deletes his tweets. He deletes it to hide them. He deletes it so that he can't get in trouble for it. He deletes it because he knows he's breaking the rules. And he doesn't give a shit. He knows that he's a hypocrite. 
and he doesn't give a shit. And his entire career is predicated on lying to his audience so that they keep giving him money, so that they keep thinking he's Mr. Rationalist, that he's not performative at all, that everything he says is true and honest and genuine, and not just him venting out his personal problems with every creator in this space. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate that.